I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Our first podcast that we ever did uh, was about the Gabby Gifford shooting, and that was 11 years ago. And today, uh, more than a decade later, I drove to the studio crying. Um, I was listening to them read about the 19 kids that were slaughtered in Texas and the teachers that tried to protect those kids. And last week, I was driving to the studio, and I cried as I heard a daughter in Buffalo screaming that her mother... And her were supposed to go see the temptations and the tickets were still on the table. This could be about any of us and more frequently it is. Nowhere else in the world is there this much gun death. I mean, except, you know, Ukraine. And people say, uh, let's don't make it political. Uh, but that's what it is. Uh, because it's not all of us letting this happen. It's not both sides taking money from gun manufacturers and the NRA. It's only one side, the Republicans. And in my opinion, the Republican Party is the party of death. And it's not just guns, people. It's health care. The rest of the world has health care. Guess what? They don't die sick and bankrupt like we do here, owing thousands in medical bills, killing any shot for generational wealth or dying years earlier because you can't even afford to go to urgent care. The GOP cuts regulations for pollution, clean air, clean water, so you die earlier. They told their own constituents that wearing a mask or getting vaccinated was losing their freedom. The death toll for Republican voters from COVID is 2.26 times higher than Democratic voters. Do you get that? The GOP said it was a hoax. The GOP is the party of death. And economics, okay, they voted against a bump in your minimum wage. Republicans blocked you making more money. It's been shown that income relates to how long you live. Do you know that? They convinced their voters that government health care was taking away your freedom and that everyone having voting rights was taking away your freedom, that gay people getting married takes away your freedom, that four trans kids countrywide playing softball somehow takes away your freedom, that a woman having a right to her own body is taking away your freedom, that sound gun laws that work worldwide take away your freedom. Well, these little kids, they lost all their freedom forever, and their parents will never be free from the pain. 10 people in Buffalo lost their freedom and their families will never be free from the devastating grief ever. And I know I'm just a dipshit comedian with a podcast because that's a thing now. But uh, my daughter uh, had a shooting at her school in front of it. Her best friend was shot. He lived. My son was at the school when it, when it went off and he ran. Both my kids got lucky, but our kids live with that every day. A low-level fear that at any time, any moment, they can be fucking killed. You know, my wife and I both clock the exits. We go to a store or a restaurant. In America, you have to actually do recon before you can order an entree. My mom and my lovely sister both shot themselves to death because the man that they were living with just had guns lying around, not locked up. And the Democrats... Man, they keep putting legislation forward and the Republicans keep on blocking it. And these are just facts. But the fact is the GOP is the party of death. You know, we have a mass shooting at least once a week and we have so many mass shootings. Most don't make the news anymore. Hell, after we got 600 shot and 59 dead in Vegas, you got to bring the heat to make it to prime time. You know, it, it's like we saw the card trick and we got bored. Now to really make an impact, 10 black people in a supermarket just isn't enough. You got to cut 19 kids and two teachers in half with an AR-15. And I watched today as Greg Abbott talked about pain and sadness while his assistant booked him a fucking ride to the NRA convention. Mitt Romney put out a thoughts and prayers tweet while he counted the $13 million that he got from the NRA. So it's a political issue because the only reason it keeps happening is because of politics. The GOP is literally voting in favor of killing Americans for money. The GOP is the party of death. And to all of you touched by gun violence, and boy, we are a club that just fucking keeps getting bigger, isn't it? Fight, vote. Let's get rid of this party of death in the next election, okay? And just make America party again. MAPA. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update.
little kids, man.